Pisces, my Pisces. Hello, my dear Pisces, my Pisces, Pisces. Hello, my dear Pisces. What's up, water babies? What's popping? What's going down in the life of a Piscean between the 1st and the 15th of May, 2019? Hmm? Are you guys uh, really kind of going over reflecting in this place of accepting things, but really just not understanding? Some of you are really needing that clarity in order to move on, or you feel like you do. <laughs> hey, boo, hey. It's first time to my channel. I'm open. Also, if this is first time to my channel, look out. I cuss. May cuss a little, may cuss a lot. Just depending on what the hell these cards say. Oh, but I'm a cuss. So if cussing does not work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can assist you guys without cussing. Because see me, I'm going to do that. All right. Uh, to the new subscribers, welcome to the family. We're a, little, we're a little dysfunctional, okay? We don't fight and fuss, though. Uh, we leave that shit on other people's channel. But we do love each other. We grow. We enlighten. We share. We love. We evolve. Posy vibes only, okay? Um, to the return subscribers what's up family did you miss me <laughs> did you miss me <laughs> you guys i really feel awesome even when i was digging into your energy i was actually um today i've been in a singing mood all day i've been running errands and i'm sorry about the man that's mowing the grass uh but you know i wish i could change the circumstances but don't worry you're not gonna be out there for too long because it's been rain. <laughs> shout out to the water babies for the rain <laughs> All right, you guys. So this will be for my sun, moon, Venus, as well as the cross. Oh, you guys, thank you for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments. I truly appreciate it, you guys. And also, um, this will be for the sun, moon, rising, Venus, as well as the cross watches for the sign of Pisces. You guys, this is a general. It's not a personal. If you need a personal reading, I currently got specials going on up until the 5th. I actually had a 72-hour flash sale uh, reading. And folks was like, I ain't going to point no, you know, <clears throat> fingers and elbows but some of them uh <coughs> Pisces <clears throat> had um send me send me text messages and emails and was like oh, man, I'm sorry I missed the sale so you guys the sale is extended up until um the fifth of May and um it is a ten dollar one question one answer okay I am not going over my time I'm working on uh actually setting boundaries in 2019 you guys because as we're continuously growing I'm still one little more Okay, and I, I, would, I I'd like, I'd like a life away from doing reading sometimes. I love y'all. I really, really do. But I'm a single mother. And so sometimes things can get a bit hectic. And so because of that, you guys, there have been so many changes in my life. I'm going to be sharing a little bit because y'all going to be part of it. Um, but I will say I'm just thankful for all of you. Um, so I have a 10 minute um. Uh, $10 special. I have a $25. I have to remember myself, y'all. I have a $25, 15 minute, two question um, deal going, as well as my 30 minute reading that's normally $65, you guys, um, is now $50, okay? So if that is going to be going on until the 5th, again, of May, Cinco de Mayo, and we rocking, all right? So, you guys know how we rock. We're going to start off with the intuitive messages, and I'm sorry for the long ass intro. But y'all love, y'all know y'all love me. Don't act like that. The hell? I, I have a song for Pisces that kept coming to me. And it's actually my jam. I haven't heard it in a while. It was weird because it came to me earlier this morning. And it was random because when I tell y'all I ain't, I ain't really talking about being in my bag, but I'm just being the flow of my bag. But oh, I'm from Texas. And being in my bag means I'm in my feelings. <laughs> Drake said, got me in my feelings, <laughs> got me in my bag, you know, so same thing. So, you know, I haven't been in my bag in a while. And um, so I was like, I know this is not for me, you know, but I got a Pisces moment. So I'm just in tune and I'm just like, oh, okay. So I'm going to sing this song when I get to the love sector, okay? While I'm shuffling the cards, because it's definitely going to be uh, important, I don't want to get flagged, so I'm gonna sing it for y'all. Can't flag me for singing. <laughs> I will find a way. All right. So the intuitive messages that I got for my babies was for the month of May. Twin flame. Fortune. Need that. Self worth. Harvest. Need that. Life cycles. Synchronicity. Collaboration. Life path, 
honesty, awakening, investor, detox, successful, walk away, third party, listen to yourself, self-sabotage, spiritual path, travel, vacation, health, balance, inheritance, successful business, illusion, frenemies, oh shit, stagnancy, okay, so let's rock, so if any of those intuitive messages did um, correlate or actually resonate with you, this is for you, you guys definitely take what resonates, leave the rest, y'all know how I feel, don't try and make that damn shoe fit, if it don't, if it's too big, your ass is gonna what, fall down, like London's fucking bridge, okay, so let's get it. Overall energy of the reading, you guys, I receive the five of spades. So some of you all may be in this place of having to accept change. I feel the energy of acceptance. Some of you all, there is some type of obsession energy around you guys. I don't know if this is you or someone else in the month of May, but I feel that some of you guys may uh, actually, and I'm, I'm hearing confirmation. So some of you guys may have been uh, wondering if someone was driving around your house. Um, for some of y'all, I'm getting actually a lot of vehicles, so I'm going to try and catch it before they go too fast. Hold on. with uh cars you guys Pontiac red Pontiac there's a blue Ford Focus someone drives a black Lexus but the side of the door is dented in on the driver's side in the back seat it's a four door someone else this has to do with the red Malibu for some of you all it's a four-door SUV. I'm not sure. If I'm not able to see. It has paper tags on y'all, but it's, I don't know if it's a Suburban or a Tahoe. Pay attention to you guys if that's, if you find the synchronicity of a particular vehicle circling you, uh, especially if you're not at home and you're somewhere else and you're still seeing that shit, take note of that. Trust your instincts because I, okay, for some of you all, I'm hearing attachments. So this person could be attached to someone who you could have walked away from. Um, you could have recently separated from someone due to a third party. I feel like this third party actually is obsessed with wanting to talk to you for you to get the full truth because I definitely feel like your ex could be uh, now rejecting or ignoring the third party. Like something didn't go how somebody planned because I feel someone was trying to sabotage something or sabotage a relationship. Um, and it had to do with total y'all obsession, narcissism. Um, and I also feel that whomever this is, this person, this person is not done. Um, please, you guys, look behind your tires before you back out. Some some of you guys may be having continuous flat tires during this time. And it's being done on purpose. Like somebody's putting like tax or um, something under someone's tires. Um, and I definitely feel like it has to. It's about slowing someone down because I feel like you guys like barely miss each other so someone's trying to slow you down to kind of like I mean, jump out your damn bushes i mean i don't mean literally i hope not literally but um some of you all are really needing to lock all of your doors when you get out your car like if you go into the grocery store do not leave your doors unlocked some of y'all have someone really obsessing over you i'm hearing for some whoever this is for you could have moved to move from an extremely cold place to an extremely warm place to get away from this person i'm seeing waters for some of you all some of y'all gonna find out that someone who was stalking you or obsessed with you who could have been in a relationship with someone else maybe like this person was married but still stalking you maybe they did something or committed some crime and had to go to jail some of y'all gonna find out either this person got out and you you weren't aware like some of y'all this person got out and they haven't even like seen a family or nothing like they were that obsessed with you okay that was a juicy okay and some of you guys this is someone who you have a family with so um you really needed to make a decision a lot okay so uh the messages are going to come a little different this time i was trying to make the video shorter but i see we don't roll out normally uh, damn 25 30 minutes so let's roll this beautiful beans bitch then all right okay so i do see uh your first message for the month comes from um archangel germio and by the way these are the Doreen virtue or um, Archangel Oracle cards. Cause I be y'all, y'all know I'm a perfectionist. I be the Libra and be whooping my ass. I be trying to get my life, make sure I ain't telling no lies. Okay, so the message that you guys got was life review. Archangel Jeremiah. Lighting sucks. Sorry about that. 
take inventory of your life and resolve to change or heal anything that is unbalanced. Okay, so I definitely it's the energy of um compassion compromise for some of you all you may be internally conflicted during this time with something having to make a decision around some type of assets uh, some type of family situation some of you guys some of y'all have a union that's trying to come to play and i feel like it's divinely guided for some of you all it's a catalyst okay um and i feel like for some of you all it's a union that's only assisting you and actually moving forward on your spiritual path so this is going to be someone who comes in and you're going to have to like be receiving of this person and whomever this is for you're not going to see this person come and i do feel that this is tied to the month of may we will get into the love sector in a minute but i do feel that for some of you all this has to do with a collaboration as well that i'm hearing um or some type of business tie you and this person or soul family you've lived a past life together i feel like in a past life you guys could have been soulmates or um you, could have got, you guys could have also been like there's a connection of like brother and sister of some sort but in this life um you guys could be business partners or something to that extent all right some of you guys may be in this place of there's this energy of in order to receive something different like there's this energy of stopping and reflecting and asking yourself you know what is it that i have done differently okay i was gonna stop talking but i'm not i'm an area i'm gonna win the shouting more with the damn level outside Okay, but what have I done differently? Okay, what is it that I can do? I can't. I, it's, it's acceptance that it's ex acceptance, acceptance that yet yeah, we cannot change other people. We can change aspects of ourselves, you know, around those circumstances to find our peace and really stand in our light, you know, on matters that are really close to the heart, on matters that we want to push forward in as far as our endeavors. Because I definitely feel like this is going to be a very interesting time as far as sharing your ideas with other people. Really, really, really trust your instincts. If you feel not to share, please listen to yourself. Because for some of you all, with these damn three retrogrades that our tree of you happening at one time, Saturn, Jupiter, Pluto. When you're talking Saturn, you're speaking the karmic teacher. Capricorn energy, selfishness. Okay, and I call it all Capricorn selfish, but I tell you what, Capricorns ain't gonna let, they ain't gonna sacrifice, self sacrifice for no damn body for their shmoney. Do you understand? Jupiter has to do with the karmic reward, with the karmic rewards. Now, Jupiter governs Pisces as well as Neptune. So it's about you guys not being in this dreaming state, but you guys actually, Saturn is here like, okay, yeah, I love those ideas, Pisces. Why haven't you shared those ideas? So I'm going to put you in a very uncomfortable situation to kind of push you off the cliff so that you're kind of forced to share those ideas because you don't know that that blind faith on you moving on those ideas are going to be the most abundance that you've ever seen in a very long time. For some of you guys, I'm hearing five years. For some of you all, I'm hearing 10, but it's going to take a leap of faith and the confidence within yourself because for some of you all, this may be a time when you kind of kind of up and down with how you looked at yourself. You really, Some of you all are really needing to feed your soul those um those positive affirmations during this time. Some of y'all could definitely be dealing with a family situation. Your next message comes from um, Archangel Zadkiel. You got compassion. Soften your heart with respect to the situation and all the people involved, including yourself. Okay? So some of you all, there's this focus. Some of you all may have some type of crown chakra activation during this time. I definitely feel like it has to do uh, with, with regards to love matters or some type of past life, past life connection. Some of you all, this could also be you going back and receiving some type of missing piece. I'm hearing uh, regarding a matter from the past in order for you to move forward. Some of you guys, um, okay, so that could be that. That's that's that feeling of um, I need to know. I need clarity. I need that validation that I felt from you guys at first. There's a need. For, some of you guys are during this time maybe in this place of solitude, trying to avoid. Um, because I feel the energy of like Pisces, peaceful. Pisces is one with self. Pisces is reflecting. Pisces is in this place of strategizing, planning. Especially if you have, I'm hearing Aries, like Air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or any fixed energy in your chart. You're in this very strategic place where you're just focusing on your life purpose, focusing on your path, you focus on the things that make you happy. Some of you all are, are going to experience and diet changes during this time. Some of you all are really, really, really going in, in a space where you're wanting to open up your heart, you're wanting to be receptive, but you're really needing to trust yourself because some of y'all, you don't move on situations that could be beneficial for you all because it's kind of it's a wrestle between the mind and the heart, the feels, but we're feeling from a place of the past. 
and there's a need for you to move forward and soften your heart, moving forward and have compassion and an understanding and with, the, with us being in the age of Aquarius, look at a situation from more than one or two ways. Don't try to look at, look at that shit from at least four to five because there is no wrong answer but only a lesson to gain. Think about it, okay? Some of y'all have a massive crown, a crown, chakra, uh, crown chakra activation coming. Some of you all are connecting with dragons during this time or maybe using feng shui to manifest abundance with dragons. Or if you were thinking about it, yes, that's the move, baby. But you have to believe, you have to believe in the intention that you're putting into your feng shui. Some of you guys are designers, artisans. Some somebody is making some type of um it's it's a mixture of it's like a bathing it looks like a bathing suit or like some type of lingerie bathing suits. Whoever that's for, come in. I need a baby what's your phone now? Smoke is feeling really sexy all these days. What you mean, babe? What's your phone on? Yes. <laughs> the last angel message that you guys got comes from Archangel Ragio. Divine Order. Okay, so some of you guys may be dealing with, um, oh, sorry, let me read the message first. Maybe you be a me, y'all. That Aries Pisces be like this. Pisces be like, no, let's just think about it. Let's think about it. Aries be like, I gotta say it now. Sorry. Everything is how it needs to be right now. Look past the illusion and see the underlying order. The underlying order. Okay? So for some of you all, there's a need uh, for a compromise. For those of you who are dealing with any type of legalities, um, there may be some type of shift as far as, and I feel shift like some of you all may, there's a need for you guys not to expect the worst. I'm hearing um, accepting defeat. Some of you guys literally speak that defeat into your life before you even experience these damn things moving forward. There's a need for you guys to only speak positive, positive situations, positive outcomes, and have this knowing and believing that shit like you believe in waking up. Believing that shit like your child believes in the damn tooth fairy. Because my son, hey, let me tell you something. I even told him the truth. And he said, well, look, I'm a kid. Can I pretend? What? <laughs> so you just want you should just say hey run it I feel so much better about that than just I'm a kid can I pretend I'm a little kid you little child I'm playing these psychological games with me damn it what's wrong with them damn <laughs> but some of y'all there may be some type of clothing to some type of um case connected to assets some of you guys I'm hearing IRA some, someone's taking from their 401k some of you all, some of y'all, some of y'all gonna quit a job because you finally starting to see it's a, it's a blockage. Because in the past life, some of you all had an issue with letting go. Oh yeah, because Pluto was also in retrograde. Well, Bionic energy past life, death, reincarnations. Somebody been waiting to get pregnant for a long time. You could have recently went through a divorce due due to uh, some type of third party situation, baby. And the third party situation was found out about, but their pregnancy going to be found out about in the month of May. For some of y'all, I'm hearing in the month of June because this could actually be happening in the month of June. All right? Some of y'all may be separating. I'm hearing even, even exchange. Someone, some of y'all may come home to someone just, and I feel like this is for whomever has been resisting making a movement going forward and like ending a relationship that Spirit has been sending you dreams and thinking this even confirmations and messages that it's time to move forward on. Some of y'all will come home to someone possibly gone or have moved um, completely out. And I feel like this person, whomever I'm speaking about, you have, um, black countertops in your house this person you may come home and whomever this is for as well there is some type of like the secret that you have whoever these black counters is for uh and it's a drawer right there like it's a countertop and this is like someone who has like an island like you have you could you can actually put like bar seats there there's a drawer right there like when you first come in underneath that countertop if you if someone pulls a um, 
a dear John met a situation on you, that person is going to leave you anywhere between three to eight thousand dollars in control. Okay, I hate when they put me all in y'all business like that. But that's for what someone else right here. Let's get into love. Feel that felt like love. I guess love is must be love on the brain. Okay, so spirit, give me clear. Maybe this is for the Pisces. I'm gonna ride the Venus as well as cross watches for the month of May 2019. When I was meditating on you, even this morning, someone has been stalking me. I don't know who Jamie Latoya look. But it's, um, a part of me wants to leave you alone. A part of me wants for you to come home. A part of me says I'm living a lie. And I'm better off without you. Part of me says to stay through. Part of me says I'm over you. Part of me wants to say goodbye. Part of me is asking why. Uh, why was the hook torn in between the two? Cause I really wanna be with you. But something's telling me I should leave you alone. Leave you alone. So I don't know who over there got y'all torn. We finna find out. So what messages do we have for my beautiful Pisces? I mean, I mean, as well as the cross watches for the sign of Pisces. Pisces. Who told me I should uh I should, I, I should copyright my fishy song? You know what, then I just might put some words to it. Yeah, the whole three minutes about about how great a Piscean is, damn it. I tell y'all what, y'all loyal is all I, loyalty, 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 loyalty. I could be a little emotional. Hell, I got a Pisces moment, but still loyal. Pisces and love. Okay, so some of you guys uh, maybe moving forward, okay? I'm a Gemini Libra Aquarius during this time. Some of you guys, I feel like this is something that you guys are both in harmony about, okay? For some of you all, you just releasing, releasing yourself of the burdens. Some of y'all could have felt that, especially if you have a family with this person, I definitely feel like some of you could be in this place where you feel as if you're carrying all the weight, as if this person is really not packing their part. Some of y'all have a fire sign that's traveling towards y'all during the month of May as well. Um, Aries, Leo, Sag, I feel like this person is coming in to say everything, or they their intention is to come in and say every day is that they... Everything it is that they did not say before, I feel like before you and this person could have had some type of communication issues. Some of you guys, this person could have hurt you over and over and over and over again. This person have experienced. For some of you all, this person could also be bringing you some type of uh, financial blessing during this time because this person could have actually uh, um, like left you out in the call. This person could have also... Um, for some of you all, this could also be some type of like legalities. Uh, what I also feel with the whole even exchange, this person could also be coming in to try to make something right. Some of y'all are going to be receiving an apology as well. Possibly from an earth sign as well. Capricorn towards Virgo during this time. Some of y'all could also be leaving a job. Just up and quitting, not saying anything. No call, no shows. Somebody could have did it at the end of April. I'm here. I do see you moving forward very quickly, okay? Some of y'all moving away from a fire sign uh, that you could have recently connected with or you will be connected with in the month of uh, in the month of May. Some of you all, this Taurus new moon is very, 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 very important to you. For those of you who are, have been manifesting some type of reconciliation, I definitely see that this, this new moon in Taurus is harvest time. This person is coming forward, but for some of you all, this person is going to be the hell out just as quick as they come forward with this damn King of Wands energy, okay? For some of you all, you may have a quick interaction or a quick encounter with your twin flame. For some of y'all, I'm going to be straight up, I do see it being sexual, okay? For some of y'all, it's because this person has to move away from a very burdensome situation. And they could also also um explain to you uh, that they are not moving away and fully coming to reconcile with you because they are they feel financially obligated to some type of family dynamic, okay, where they could be the only one working or the only one having some type of income, okay. For some of you all, you're moving away from someone because you're recognizing that they trigger certain things in you during this time. Some of you all may have some form of abandonment issue. I'm hearing mother, so some of you all could have a form of abandonment issue possibly from a mother where you feel as if you need this validation from people and during this time, spirit is going to make you a believer who the fuck you are. You heard me? You heard me? Yeah, some of you guys, 
somebody is coming to somebody want to come and fix a family situation especially if you have a family with a capricorn towards virgo or a fire sign for some of you all you're moving away from an aquarius person from an aquarian person okay during this time because i definitely feel like some of y'all have to make a decision on if you want to move forward with a new person who could be an aquarius who could also be a twin flame and some of you guys in order to do so either you or this person has to leave someone out who you could possibly have a family with. Or who they could possibly have a family with. Definitely feel like somebody's doing some major stalking. Okay, if you're dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, when I pulled out this page of swords, baby, for some of you all, this person could be stalking you, especially if you have a family with you. If you have children with this person, and your children are Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, I'm here, and you are dealing with the earth sign, like a child father could be earth or fire. This person is watching you. This person could also have some type of a... So during this time, y'all, some of y'all may watch a temple, because some of y'all may also experience, um, I'm seeing somebody talking to your kids, like like if you moved away from the ex, uh, you need to have a conversation with your kids. What happens in my house stays in my house. As far as my business, tell them, ask your mama conversation, because some of you guys, the, the other parent is asking your children, stuff about especially if you have moved on i feel like i'm talking to a single mother who uh, has gotten back out in the dating scene especially if you have a daughter okay and your daughter is anywhere between the ages of three and nine um i feel like the the, the i feel the energy of um someone asking your children things about your personal life very manipulative okay but i definitely feel like it's because this person really don't know how to approach you and come forward i feel like they have the intention but there is no movement okay for some of you all you're releasing you y'all y'all letting the damn um y'all y'all moving away from people who just want to come in with this in and out energy pisces want fulfillment and commitment like you know what i know what i manifested and you you blocking my damn sunshine so i'm talking to the moon and every time my sun gets to shine and hear your ass come i'm locking the door shutting my windows and saying fuck you I don't fuck with you, <laughs> you little stupid, stupid, okay, grow up, for some of you all, some of y'all could feel, some of y'all could be having a come, I don't know why I got sad, but this has to do with babies, some of you guys could be, um, some of y'all could, could have had the mother or the father of your child telling your kids horrible things like you don't want them, you know, in the midst of some type of separation, in an attempt to get you back, but because the things that they're not saying is not working, they're going to try and move to your kids. Some of you guys may be dealing with some type of legality. Some of y'all, and I feel like this is for the, I'm hearing Pisces, man. Some of you guys will decide in the month of May that you want to cut off your child due to, like, your attachment to finances. Let me first and foremost tell you, I'm not one to judge, but just know that Saturn and Jupiter are going to whoop your ass. I feel that there's you need to readjust your thinking when it comes to that and, and possibly go to a space somewhere near water and really reassess the cons and the pros because I definitely feel like it's having to do with some type of ancestral tie and someone just is someone just giving up. But I feel like the way to go is within you, but you so caught up in your bag. I explained the bag. Go back. In your feelings. You're so caught up in your feelings behind the relationship between you and the other parent. I'm hearing two controlling people. Do something different in order to have a different outcome before you just cut off your baby. The kids don't ask to come here. They blessings, not burdens. You know, my Pisces in love. Let me get out of my bag. I was getting in my damn bag. I ain't finna have me in here crying today. Yeah, some of you all, there is some type of financial blessing, okay? For those of you who just recently had someone just up and leave or someone actually ghost you in the past, this person's wanted to come back and make an offer, okay? For some of y'all, this is tied to family. For some of you all, this is actually you guys moving away from a job and actually running into one. The middle of May is going to be very important for you all, especially when it comes to financial aspects. Some of y'all moved away from a damn Leo, and I feel like for some of you all, you and this damn Leo, you may totally feel, fuck you, little old lion, with your lying ass. I cut you off because your ass be lying, okay? Some of you guys may be in this Queen of Swords energy when it comes to dealing with the Leo. Some of you guys are um, just making a decision that, you know, this is not what I want. 
And I feel like for some of you all, this person is still needing to heal some type of rejection or abandonment issues from childhood. Like they still have childhood wounds. So some of you guys are going to be triggered to someone's wounds. And I feel like there's some type of energy that may lash at you. Like they're trying to verbally hurt you. So there's a need for you guys to keep it cool, especially when you know somebody's they're intentionally doing and do, doing that to find their peace and their comfort. You know, understand, you know, hurt people, hurt people. Yeah, some of you guys may be cutting off an Aries or, um, or some of you guys, maybe some of y'all are cutting off an Aries or the father of your child. For some of you all, this could have to do or with cutting off someone who is controlling. Someone could be cutting someone off during this time who feels that somebody else is controlling. Yeah, some of y'all been trying to manifest this damn Leo back and this Leo been doing it with you. For those of you who, um, for those of you who are doing any type of water magic, it's working, baby. You bring in, you, you, you. for some of y'all, this is for finances. And whatever you have been doing when it comes to, I feel this is water, this is specifically water, water magic. The law of attraction by using water. This new moon, you're going to see some, some sort of harvest. Okay, y'all come in and let me know. Some of you guys, you have a financial blessing coming from the universe after leaving someone out in the cold because you had a fear of moving forward. And I feel like the divine kind of came in and shut shit down for you. Like I got to chop the shit up like Chun Lee. And um, for some of you all, you needed to choose, or this person needed to choose between two people. But in doing so, because this was a karmic relationship for some of you all, this person could have drank so much. Some of y'all have to leave someone behind because either they spend too much money, they spend all the damn money on drinking or smoking, so you just had to let them go. But for some of you all, you may be in this energy of, um, some of y'all have new love coming or someone trying to offer you love during this time, but you just, you focus on the past. There's a need for you guys to release the past because you got new love trying to come, but it can only come in. For those of you who needed to make a decision on releasing yourself from this damn energy of feeling stuck, trapped, and feeling as if your hands are tied, okay? Because I definitely feel like some of y'all could also be dealing with another Pisces. Or Pisces, maybe this is a um, Aquarius. Some of y'all have to make a decision between an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or a water sign. For some of y'all, this is an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or Aries, Leo, Sag. Some of y'all, Earth sign, have to make a decision between you and a fire sign. Well, for some of you all, this is about being single, focused on your money, and then boom, new loves come, new love comes forward. And this could be right when you recently uh, disconnected from someone, but I definitely feel like this person is coming in attached to love and finances. For some of you all, this could be an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. But there's a need for you guys to focus on the security around your finances during this time. For some of you all, there may be focusing, focusing around, focuses, focusing, focus around. Y'all, Jupiter is fucking with me. It's retrograde. Focus around um, fixing a family situation. Y'all see all them damn elves? Focus around fixing a family situation. Some of y'all may be physically moving during this time. Like some of y'all may actually up and just break a damn leaf. Some of y'all may, be, uh, may be moving in. And some of you all may also be working on a relationship or working on some type of, um, building some type of, like, bond with the fire sign child. The mother or father could also be a fire sign. Because I definitely feel like there's conversations that need to be had versus having conversations through the ego. Speak from a spectrum of love. Receive from a spectrum of love. And anybody coming against that, you know, I definitely feel that you guys got to choose your self-worth. Walk away. There's power in silence and walking away. Trust me, you're hearing it from the wall, God. There's many aspects of war. And for some of you all, this is about a peaceful one. That if you pass the test of Saturn, do something differently. Instead of doing the same shit that ain't got you no different results. Then Jupiter brings you a two-for-one special, but two-for-one wing special, baby. Two for one special. Love and abundance. They tie together. Some of y'all just could be a damn Gemini. I feel like this person already been stalking your ass. But some of y'all, this person is being very strategic on how they come forward. 
Some of y'all want y'all damn emperor. You're going to get your damn emperor. Damn Aries, Taurus. But I ultimately see Pisces standing their ground, moving forward, okay? Definitely decisions that need to be made that may cause a damn uproar, but I definitely feel like you guys are moving forward. And for some of y'all, this can have to do with fire and earth. They're not being an equal give and take, especially when it comes to um, financial matters around your children. Some of y'all, this could have to do with the Sagittarius as well. But for some of y'all, this have to do with divine timing. Because it's a divine partnership, things cannot move forward until someone moves forward. Okay? So, you all, this is what I have for you guys for the month of May. If you need a personal reading, remember I got a special going on. I'm going to try and roll as many videos as I can um, today to try and uh, go ahead and get all my May videos up. I love you, love you, love you. Long time, my honey. And I'm going to say, peace and love. Blessings, y'all. Yeah.